everybody, I made it. Thanks for having patience with me, appreciate it. Classic Monday morning struggles. Uh, this is the Daily Creative Challenge welcome stream for the next two weeks. We're gonna be working on a challenge together in Photoshop. If you don't know me, I'm Kathleen Martin. Uh, and I'm, we're gonna be hanging out for the next two weeks, so it's nice to meet you if we have never met before. I'm just gonna confirm that it works. Yes, I see people that see me. That's great, skip the intro. Yeah, that was a good idea. Uh, oops, read that one too, too late. Cool, so while we are getting started, chat, let me know how your weekend was, I'm very curious. And since we uh, had a little bit of a technical difficulty. We're gonna have a different stream than I was kind of planning on today. Good, you see me. If it's hard to hear me, let me know if I need to turn my volume up. I can do that on the fly. I know, I'm in tiger form. That actually has to do with the theme for this two week challenge. Cool. So if you are totally new to the Daily Creative Challenge, it is a two week challenge where we're gonna be sharpening your Photoshop skills. Let me jump over to my other screen so we can check it out. There we go, there we go. Uh, this is actually Gus's laptop that he let me use for <laughs> very last minute. So um, this says, hi Gus, take the challenge. Gus, you can take the challenge if you want, that's up to you but this is where you're going to go to register for this Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. It's behance.net slash challenge slash Photoshop, and it is free, it is beginner friendly, so if you even never used Photoshop before, this is a great place to learn, I gotta say. Um, so this is how it works. Each day you're gonna receive a challenge. You can come to this landing page every day and you'll unlock one of the challenges every single day, as you can see. They are all currently locked, so they're all secrets. Um, then you're gonna join the community chat for the live stream. So this live stream is gonna happen every day for the next two weeks, Monday through Friday, uh, at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time. And it's only 25 minutes. So it's a really short little lesson. You're gonna just learn the basics of Photoshop, but at the end of the two weeks, we're gonna have a nice final project that you can show off. So like I said, we have the daily live show, and then we're gonna be showing off our work on Behance. So I'll show you how to upload your work on Behance. We're gonna make the uh, cover image today, and uh, we might have to finish it tomorrow, but we're gonna start it today. And then we're gonna be uploading and updating our Behance projects as we move along. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So one thing I haven't mentioned yet is another way you can stay in touch with us is by going to Discord. So let me pop that open really quick. If you've never heard of Discord, it's just a giant chat room, basically. It's a giant community where you can post your work to get feedback at any time of day, uh, 24 seven. There's always someone in there that can help you out. So that's a huge part of these daily creative challenges is after day one, after you've watched the lesson tomorrow and work on your project, you'll post your work in progress or your first draft on Discord. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow and you'll get some feedback. So I'll be in there for at least an hour a day, kind of hanging out, there's gonna be other people. And you can also give feedback to other people. And once you've kind of implemented those changes, if you want to, that's when you'll upload your final piece onto Behance. Cool, does that make sense so far? Let's see how you're all feeling. I'm gonna check out the chat, make sure I didn't miss anything. I know, Gus. So Patrick is a newbie to these challenges. Nice. Please turn up your vol volume. Okay, I'll do that really quick. Let's see if this helps. Test, test, test. Is that better? Like I mentioned, we had a little bit of technical difficulties before the stream started. So we'll have this all ironed out tomorrow. Now let me know if that's too loud. The sound is okay? Okay. Sweet, thanks Chad, appreciate it. Keith says I'm doing the AI DCC as well. Nice, Paul is hosting that and he was on just before me. Mallory, so much better, awesome. I was worried it was gonna be too loud, so I'm glad it's not. Okay, should we actually jump into uh, the cover image and I'll reveal the theme for the challenge, does that sound good? Michelle says, I'm new to these challenges, but want to learn so many new things in 2021. Awesome, Michelle, what else do you wanna learn? I am curious. In 2021, I wanna get back into traditional art. So doing more painting, more drawing, some printmaking, perhaps. The big reveal. Okay, let's see if Gus's Photoshop 
works. So many apps, so many apps. It's even updated. Wow, Gus, nice. Everything's okay? I agree, Philip. Thank you. You just turned your own volume up, Mia. Nice. Okay. So we are going to be doing a two-week challenge that covers making a stamp collection, like a postage stamp collection, to benefit endangered animals. So I love how stamps look, one, aesthetically. They have an awesome kind of printy, uh, stampy aesthetic. Printmaking, yeah, cool. Um, but two, I also love how there are collections of stamps that are for charity or for uh, big good causes. So for the next two weeks, every single day, we are gonna be designing a new postage stamp that features an endangered animal. Now I am going to have endangered animals every day that you can riff off of if you would like to use that one, but maybe you are specifically uh, passionate about a certain set of animals. Use those, you don't have to use the same images I do. Uh, I'm just gonna be focusing on the techniques and you can take it from there. Okay, so I have a file here in Photoshop, and if you're totally new to Photoshop, first of all, welcome. But second of all, uh, let me show you how to make a new file. So when you first open Photoshop, you'll see something similar to this. Uh, you won't see the workspace behind it. It's basically just this new file document window. And we're gonna be making a file that's about 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels high. You can make the resolution a little bit higher just because these might be seen on a higher resolution screen. So let's go for 300. And I'm going to click create. Now, before I do that, actually, up here at the top, you can see there are a bunch of different tabs for different pre-made document sizes. So say you know you're designing a, a print poster for work, you can come over here to print, you can pick your poster size, maybe a tabloid, and click create, and it's already all done for you. But I'm gonna go back to pixels, 800 by 600. And we're gonna make this file today, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to upload it on Behance because I didn't get a chance to log in because, you know, technical difficulties. <laughs> Thanks, Sydney, appreciate it. Mercurial says, I think Kathleen just invited me to do more cats. You know, I was going to do the whole two week challenge on like felines, endangered felines, tigers and snow leopards and the like. Uh, so there are some cats in there, but they're not all cats. Don't worry in case you're more of a, a dog person. Okay, you guys all with me? You get your new document open in Photoshop. If you don't, it's okay. You can always rewatch this or just remember, take notes. Uh, this is also a good opportunity for you to download Photoshop if you don't even have it yet. Uh, get that downloading and then we'll be ready and rearing to go tomorrow. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with this cover image is make a background color. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom of my layers panel and there's going to be some uh, adjustment layer options. There's this like half moon kind of icon. It's like a circle with a diagonal through it. I guess that's not really a half moon. <laughs> I'm going to click on it and click solid color and that's going to open a color picker. This is so fun and satisfying to me. I'm not sure why, maybe because it's just like instant gratification. You pick a color and you see a preview. So let's go for a blue. You'll notice during the challenge that there's going to be kind of a neon color scheme going on. There's going to be a lot of black with like pops of neon color. So I'm going to keep that in mind for my cover image color for the background. And there you go. So now for our cover image, it's really important that you have some text in there or imagery so that when someone's clicking on your Behance portfolio project, um, they know what to expect. So we're just gonna add some text. Now I'm not sure what typefaces Gus has activated on his Creative Cloud <laughs> library. Uh, maybe none, who knows? Maybe we'll have to use some system types, typefaces, but if so, we can edit it tomorrow. Gus does like turtles. Gus could do a whole two week challenge based on endangered turtles. There's a lot of endangered sea turtles and you'll actually see one tomorrow. Ooh, day one. Alrighty. So I'm gonna activate my text tool in Photoshop over here on the left, horizontal type tool. And I'm just gonna click in the middle of my um, workspace. It's gonna add some text for me 
and I'm gonna type the title of my challenge. Now you can name this whatever you want, but I said before they vanish is the name of my challenge. So this stamp collection is trying to benefit endangered animals before they vanish from this earth. There we go. So you'll see that I kind of changed the align alignment of my text. If you want to go back and do that, if you make sure that you have your text layer selected and come up here to the control bar and you can change the alignment that way, or we can open our properties window. I'm going to go up here to window properties. I use the properties panel all the time. It's like probably my most used one. And we can change things a little easier here. So I'm going to increase my text size, maybe decrease the kerning, which is the space between the lines. Looks good. And we are going to go for almost like an RGB neon vibe. I'll probably finesse this a little bit tomorrow. Uh, but for now, this works. I just don't want this to hurt anybody's eyes. You know what I mean? All right, so now let's play with some placement. I kind of like this against the side and centered placement. Mia says I'm gonna include humans. That's deep Mia, very meta. And let's change our typeface. So in my characters, if you have your type layer selected, you can just hover over different typefaces. Hey, that's pretty cool. Who else was here for the Adobe Live font when we made that? That was back when we were in the first studio in San Francisco, probably like two or three years ago. So we had people watching Adobe Live submit typefaces and we made a font out of it. Anyways, totally off topic. Well, kind of on topic, <laughs> but let's hover through a couple of these and see what we like. I think something very graphic uh, would be nice since this is a very simple cover image. Some bold text would be cool, I think. That looks nice. It feels a little fancy, even though uh, we have some neon colors, which is cool. Letting is the vertical space. Yes, the space between the horizontal lines. There we go. And like I mentioned, we are going to be editing this tomorrow. I'm going to be adding some imagery and we're going to be changing the blend modes. Um, but just to get a preview of what that is going to look like, let's change the blend mode right now. So blend modes is uh, basically, <laughs> my dog's over on the couch scratching around. Um, blend modes basically affect the way that layers stack on top of each other, how they look optically. So say I have my text layer selected, I'm going to open my blend modes, which is this drop down in the layers panel. If you hover between different ones, you'll see my text changing. Now it's a little bit hard to tell what's actually happening because there's no imagery between the background and the text to show how the t um, blend modes really affect what you're designing. But this is just a, a good primer so that you know that this is here. We're gonna be talking about it tomorrow and uh, feel free to play. We'll set to multiply for now. And if you wanna save your work so that we can pick it back up tomorrow, we're gonna go to file and save and then you'll pick your destination for saving so that we can work on it tomorrow. Cool, does that make sense for everybody? That was super quick. Um, I definitely wanted to cover more today, but you know, that happens. I'm gonna pop off of here, but before I do that, let's check out the schedule for today. We started with Paul, and Paul's gonna be back actually in about uh, a couple hours with the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge, but right after me, Spencer's gonna be here with drawing and painting. That's gonna be great, Spencer's awesome. Then we're gonna finish out the day with some um, XD with uh, Jaslyn and Howard. So Howard is starting a Daily Creative Challenge as well. Okay, everybody good? Everybody ready for tomorrow? Again, thank you for your patience today. Really appreciate it. Sometimes that happens, but these two weeks are going to be awesome. We're gonna be designing some stamps. Can't wait to see what you make. And in the meantime, come and join us on Discord. I'll be hanging out there today. Come say hello, and uh, we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Thanks, everybody. You're the best. Bye.